Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we are going to see how to create these awesome, awesome facade illustrations in Photoshop. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so what you want to do is first open your SketchUp model and then you're going to save some, you know, your facade, your elevation views, and you're going to export them as a PDF file. Remember, we do this almost in every video, right? So we export them as a PDF file in a big size. And remember, we want to only export the lines. So we want the line to be in, in hidden line mode and we want them to be in parallel projection. OK, so we don't want perspective mode. We just want parallel projection. Once you export these facades, I exported uh, three facades. You want to drag them in your Photoshop, right? So you open Photoshop and you want to drag them inside the Photoshop file. You're going to separate them evenly across the whole canvas. And you can amplify your canvas by pressing C on your keyboard. C is going to you know, activate the canvas option and you're just going to make it much bigger so the facades don't look so squished in that canvas, right? So as soon as we distribute them and put them all in a folder so they can look you know, all good and organized, we are going to start to look for textures, right? Because we want this to be a very simple, minimalistic facade drawing. So we're going to look for some paper textures, some paper textures. I downloaded mine from, from a page, which I have the link down below. Uh, but you can download yours from anywhere. We just want a good resolution paper texture. Now we want to drag this paper texture inside of our Photoshop file. And we're going to size it up correctly, right? We don't want it to be too big because as we see here, it's going to get a little bit pixelated. So if you need it, you, you can, you know, duplicate uh, two or three of them and then uh, right click on your layer and press combine layers. Once you do this and what we're going to do during the whole video is we're going to, uh, you know, mask out textures, right? That is the premise of the video. Okay. So what we do is just import a texture. Uh, make the selection of where the texture only needs to be shown. Like, so for example, here I'm just selecting the, the part of the ground. As you guys can see, I selected it with a lasso tool, a polygonal lasso tool, which you can press L on your keyboard. And then you can press uh, the mask tool on your right bar, right? So once you do these steps, uh, basically uh, everything is hidden except for the places that you want it to be shown, right? This is the mask tool, a tool that we've worked on with um, many of our videos. So again, we're going to do this. We're going to import another different type of right of texture and we're going to import it for so it can be like the background, the sky of our facade elevation. And, you know, also remember that the colors also have to be very minimalistic. They can't be very vibrant because this is a very pastel color looking at illustration, right? So we just want to want them to be like very passive colors. And if there's going to, you know, there's going to be one color that's going to stand out, it has to be for something important, right? So maybe the building or maybe a person, maybe, I don't know, a plant. So don't overdo them with too many colors, just very pastel, soft looking colors. As you guys can see right now, I'm importing the concrete texture. I, I, down, I looked on Google concrete texture and it's, it's the same as the paper. I just uh, created a, a, a selection with a, the lasso tool polygonal lasso tool and I clicked on the mask layer, right? So everything is going to hide except for the place that I did the selection. Okay. And here comes a very awesome tip, which, uh, you know, to differentiate different types of concrete textures, um, with the marquee tool, you can press M on your keyboard. You're going to select, uh, I'm going to select some parts of the, of, of the, you know, the first floors of the whole building and I'm going to press O to take out my burn tool, right? So I want to burn, I want to slightly burn uh, the texture so it can be a little bit darker on the first floor and a little bit lighter on the second floor, right? So remember with the burn tool, you can press O on your keyboard and it's either going to highlight, it means, you know, like make it uh, much brighter or burn it, make it a little bit darker and wh whichever you prefer, right? So here I burned it and uh, I also, as you guys can see, selected the door and I colorized it to another color, right? So what you guys can do is, you know, select the door with the marquee tool or with lasso tool, and you can press control shift U on your keyboard. Once you do this, uh, you want to press colorize 
and you want to change the color and here i'm going to select the rails of uh you know of this of this balcony and i'm just going to lighten them up a little bit you know th those, those lines look a little bit strong look look like too harsh so i'm just going to uh you know separate them from the original layer and i'm just going to make them a little bit brownish a light brownish so it doesn't look too too strong on the eyes and i'm also going to import some plants these are some plants i have from my personal library you can get you, you can look in your you know in, in your google browser for for plants for you know pot plants anything you want to find and you just want to import them into your file and you know just we don't want to overdo it with the plants we just want to be like very minimalistic as well that's kind of the style that we're, we're going for and so as you guys can see the green in this plants is the, the color that stands out and that makes this look like you know like a cool like a, a cool color palette and as you guys are seeing you know just with that you know the image this elevation looks kind of cool you know it looks it looks strong it looks like it can be a very dominant image and it, it's also because the building is very clear and it's very easy to understand so remember that if you guys have a, a building that has you know many things many different size uh, very complex geometry maybe you don't want to do this style or you want you don't want it to be to as minimalistic because maybe it's not going to be understood but since this this uh, house is comprised of only two cubes and you know that's it then uh, you know it works well right so as you guys can see I'm trying to import the texture import a texture also a concrete texture in to my stairs uh, into the place that my stairs are going to go okay so I want you to I want you guys to really record this process in your head because this is like the most important process you guys can you know can learn from Photoshop because you can do infinite amount of stuff with this right so remember I'm going to just repeat it over and over again so you don't have any doubts okay so what we're doing right now with this whole image is just based on one you know one principle or one type of workflow which is importing textures and masking them out right maybe colorizing them that is what we're doing so you drag a texture inside of your Photoshop file with the lasso tool you can press L on your keyboard you select the place that you want the texture to be in right uh, so remember it, it can be a door it can be a, a, you know a window it can be the whole building you can you select that or you can select it with a marquee tool once you select that you go to the mask tool the mask tool is in the right bottom side of your Photoshop file of your Photoshop uh, interface right and once you press on that on top of the texture everything is going to hide except that okay so this is very important I'm, I'm being very uh, I'm, I'm emphasizing a lot of this in this right so just just do it as you guys can see you know just from, from finishing touches I'm importing some you know a guy so we can give it a sense of scale to the whole house and you guys can be very creative obviously you know you would want to add a lot of stuff but you have to calm yourself down you have to be like hey dude I mean like I know there's a lot of things that we want to import but this is a very minimalistic style and we have to keep it very minimal okay and this last part I uh, I tried to paint in some 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 tree brushes I I wasn't really convinced at the end like at the end I didn't like the trees but I don't know what you guys think about it so type in the comments if you you know like the image with the trees or without the trees so uh, again this is just a Photoshop brush of the trees I think you guys have it in your Photoshop file in your Photoshop brushes that I gave out for free and um, yeah this is basically the principle of these type of uh elevations okay and you can repeat the same process with the other elevations maybe with a section or maybe what i really recommend is with this same style using the same textures the same color palette you do your renderings you do your um your elevations your sections your plans with these textures and these colors if you do that you know if you do if you be if you're very minimal use only three colors and do that then your presentation board is going to look 
so awesome because it's going to look consistent and it's going to have like a clear idea okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video uh as you guys can see you know we this is a part of experimentation and uh, maybe it's not going to be exactly like this maybe your image is going to be different and that's okay as well remember to upload your images to your instagram file and uh, tag let's show it better so we can upload them to our main feed uh comment down below what you thought of the video if you like the trees more if you didn't like the trees more and subscribe see you guys in the next video bye